Hey, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about giant creatures. Some people believe they really exist, while others do not believe in them. However, giant creatures have been found everywhere, such as on land and in the ocean. It's up to you if you believe these actually exist or not. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. When a local woman in Mazeltan in western Mexico first came across this sea monster, she initially thought it was a piece of rope. Upon further investigation, she discovered it was a sea monster. The creature's dead eyes stared at her, and its teeth also looked quite terrifying. The strange thing is that the creature was never officially identified. Some claim it was an eel or a sea serpent, but neither theory had been confirmed. There are a lot of volcanoes in Chile, and the most terrifying thing is that they can erupt at any given moment. But the aftermath of volcanic eruptions can also be terrifying. Just look at this photo taken after the Calbuco volcano erupted, and we see a giant creature appearing through the smoke, ash, and dust. The uncanny thing is that multiple photos were taken of this giant creature in the sky. Many people believed it was a mystical sign from the ancient gods. At this moment, the volcano spewed out smoke and ash for a distance of almost 113 miles, or 20 kilometers. Could the monster that emerged from the ash and dust really have a message or a warning of something? According to local people, similar figures have appeared in the sky over Chile in the past. Of course, if this also happened thousands of years ago, then it's not hard to imagine why ancient civilizations believed in gods like Zeus. When you see a giant squid in real life, the myth of the kraken no longer seems to be so far-fetched. The largest known to us was a whopping 40 feet, or 12 meters long. This next giant squid landed on a beach near Wellington, New Zealand in August 2018. A group of the three people had previously found sharks in the same area, but this was the first time a giant squid had washed up. Giant squid are creatures that live very deep in the ocean, so it remains a bit of a mystery of how this giant squid washed up on the beach. Imagine this, you're alone in the car while driving on a highway, you suddenly see a tentacle-like monster in the sky above you. This image began circulating after several tornado strikes in the United States. It'll probably remind you of the infamous monster from the series Stranger Things, the Mind Flayer. But most people say this image must be the Cthulhu creature. What would you do if you were alone on a highway and you saw such a huge creature looming in front of you? Would you stop and film it? Or maybe turn the car around and drive away quickly? Let me know in the comments. The Megalodon is a prehistoric shark that lived millions of years ago. But what if this species of shark still existed? After all, only 5% of our oceans have been explored. If this photo from Google Earth is to be believed, it would still exist. Another sighting of a basking shark was made by a man named Simon in 2010, near a port in the English city of Liverpool. The shark appeared to be larger than a boat, but it's unclear if this was just a great shark that got lost, or a megalodon. The last information we could find on this is that the man wanted to warn people that it's not really safe in the water. Angels are supernatural beings evidenced in multiple religions. It's not something you see every day, but what these people in a village in China managed to capture on camera were multiple angels. It was an overcast day, and the group of tourists were quite shaken up as they looked up into the sky that day. In the distance floats what appears to be an angel with different shapes and wings covered in spines. The further the video progresses, the clearer the clouds become, and the more the angels seem to appear. The caption of the original video claimed that a bizarre cloud formation showed a glimpse of what a heavenly kingdom looks like. Many people said it did indeed look like angels. Others claimed it was probably a projection or a trick of nature, like the Fata Morgana phenomenon, where mirages appear due to the reflection of light. What do you think? You've probably heard of the Titanoboa, the biggest snake that ever lived. In fact, someone managed to spot a snake on Google Earth in the river of Borneo in Southeast Asia. It's said that the snake gave the local people quite a scare. The unknown man who had published a photo of the snake claims that he was hovering over the river in a helicopter. Some people say it could possibly be the Loch Ness Monster. Although it looks more like a snake, it could also be that the photo was manipulated. 
Let's hope so, because if such giant snakes were alive today, it would be pretty terrifying. Imagine, lightning strikes, and slowly but surely, a figure manifests in the sky above it. At first, you try to understand what's taking place before your eyes. Glowing eyes made brighter by the thunderstorm, and a giant figure. So imagine if you woke up in the middle of the night, looked outside, it was thundering hard, and saw this giant creature appear. People in the comments say that this figure was created with CGI. Let's hope so, because when creepy creatures like this make their way into the sky, nobody's safe. But I have a question for you guys. To what mythology could you describe this creature, and what exactly is it? Let me know in the comments. The continent of Antarctica is full of mystery. This is because it's almost unexplored by man. But what if aliens have been there? Recently, a Google Earth user found a giant 20 meter figure emerging from the snow. The person who had made the discovery believes that it looked very much like an alien figure. He shared his discovery on the internet, and when people saw it, some were quite shocked. If you zoom in, it indeed looks like a giant figure. But maybe you were just imagining things, and there are just some rocks in the snow. Some people's opinion were totally different. What do you think? Does this figure have something to do with aliens or not? History convinces us that the dinosaurs are long gone, but is that really true? As we all know, what is once on the internet stays there forever, and one person found on Google Earth the silhouette of a dinosaur that can be seen from the deep waters. Some scientists suggest that it might have been a megalodon as well, but this was not the only time a dinosaur-like creature was discovered on Google Earth. When this next person was exploring Antarctica, he found a creature lying in the snow that looked very much like a dinosaur. However, some people were skeptical, because according to them, it could also be a giant ostrich. No, the monster of Foley Beach is not the title of a new horror movie. One day at Foley Beach in South Carolina, a man found a strange creature on the beach. The green spots on its tan skin alone looked disturbing, but what struck the crowd most were his dinosaur-like leg plates and his 7 feet or 2 meter long appearance. Theories about its identity range from a dinosaur-like sea monster to a mutated chupacabra. Others thought that it might be an Atlantic sturgeon. However, these sea creatures can reach lengths of 16 feet to 20 feet, or 5 to 6 meters. The legend about Bigfoot is also one that has been around for a long time and has never been officially proven, although there have been hundreds of sightings. For example, Bigfoot was also said to have been discovered once on Google Earth. He was seen in the Canadian forest next to the highway in British Columbia. As we can see from the photo, there does indeed appear to be something in the forest. But other people say it's just a tree stump. It could also be a person who is dressed up to look like a Bigfoot. But it honestly wouldn't surprise me if Bigfoot, which is basically a primate species that can walk upright, would have existed. After all, there is scientific evidence of the Gigantopithecus, an extinct group of great apes that were gigantic. Whether Bigfoot still exists today, who knows? What do you think? The mysterious Montauk monster was found on the beach off the coast of Ditch Plains in New York, July 2008. This monster clearly resembles nothing from our world, raising the alarming question of how much we don't know about the ocean. Some people claim the Montauk monster had been an experiment of mutation, since there is a nearby laboratory across the beach. The Montauk monster mysteriously only made the news for a short time, and it was never mentioned again after that. On a stormy, windy night in 2014, a family in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, had the scare of a lifetime. They immediately grabbed their cell phones, and what they saw, no one would believe it if it was even captured on camera. In fact, they saw a flying horse in the dark sky above them. It's safe to say that panic broke out, and some family members even started screaming. What could this have been? If it was a flying, mystical kind of horse, how could it appear above a city like this? An interesting fact is that flying horses appear in mythology. The most famous example is the famous Pegasus, a winged stallion in Greek mythology who is the offspring of the god Poseidon and the Gorgon Medusa. In Turkish mythology, there are also flying horses, but they are usually black or white and they are called tulpars. In Scottish myths, flying horses are called kelpies. 
The next monster was found in Oki Bay in New Zealand and was accidentally discovered when the person was looking for a tourist attraction nearby. The sea monster is said to have had a length of 12 meters, and the person who found it was initially frightened by it. Some people think that it's an eel-like creature, while others say it's a piece of driftwood. But it could also be a snake or another sea monster that's not been discovered. Probably this will remain a big mystery forever. Alligators are known to be huge and dangerous, and it's best to stay far away from them. They like to hide in the water, and when they are hungry, they sometimes even attack people. But in this photo, we see a giant alligator discovered through Google Earth. Now, alligators have passed through millions of years of evolution, and some species are said to have reached a length of 12 meters. But whether a giant alligator would actually still exist, as shown in this photo, we don't know. Let's just hope it's not photoshopped. Sometimes you need to stop and take in your surroundings. This man does just that, and while he was filming, he saw an unknown creature appear from the clouds. People in the comments say this creature was a xenomorph, a fictional character described as an alien and featured in movies and comic books. It looks like the creature has no intention of coming down, so we can only hope it doesn't change its mind. The man filmed this unknown figure with a tail in an unknown place. However, no one in the area seems to notice the creature. An interesting fact is that similar creatures also appear in Chinese mythology. But fortunately, according to the myths, they are gentle, benevolent creatures that only serve as a sign for something else. The next creature found on the beach was called the Hellfish. People gave it the specific name because of the dinosaur-like jaws, ferocious fangs, and hellish eyes. However, this is not the only Hellfish ever found. When a monkfish washes up from the depths, it gets the same reactions. The deep-sea fish known to inhabit the pitch-black deep ocean is rarely seen. But sometimes, the deep-sea creatures end up on beaches in Orange County, California. One day, when the next person was exploring Google Earth, he came across a giant spider the size of a bus. If you have arachnophobia, then you better move on to the next topic. According to the person, he allegedly found the spider on Google Earth, somewhere on a remote island in Mexico. Mexico is known for having an abundance of spiders. But it has not been scientifically proven that a spider the size of a bus exists. Could it be that giant spiders like this live in parts of the forest we haven't explored yet? Who knows? After all, there's still lots of things to be discovered in our world. The largest manta ray ever caught was in 1920, and had an incredible length of 30 feet, or 9 meters. These ocean monsters looked extraterrestrial, but unfortunately their population is threatened. The reason is because they often get caught in fishermen's nets. In some cases, they are also washed up on the beach. In this video, we see people rescuing a giant manta ray that became entangled in fishing nets. Unfortunately, there are also cases where they are caught by fishermen. However, this giant manta ray looked heavy enough to overturn the boat and was about 16 to 23 feet, or 5 to 7 meters long. Fog can be disturbing enough. But can you imagine finding yourself all alone in the fog and suddenly seeing a mysterious being appear? Not another soul in sight for miles around. These few minutes of footage represent what it might feel like when you encounter such a thing. The point is that you don't notice a fog creature until you look closely. The creature's smooth, silent movements escalate the panic as it blends into its surroundings. Fortunately, the creature didn't hurt anyone, but if you come across something like this, it's best to run away quickly, because you never know how dangerous they might be. How often does a sea monster with a beak and a furry tail appear on the beach? Not often, but according to several articles, this is how a mysterious sea monster washed up along the east coast of Russia. The prevailing theory is that it's a rare species of dolphin, one that has never been seen before. Even experts think that it's a very strange creature, as dolphins don't normally have fur. They also doubt that it lives in the waters near the beach, or that it was simply washed up by the warm currents. There's probably not a person who's never heard of the monster of Loch Ness. Everyone's probably seen a picture of one of the most popular sea monsters in the world. But if Google Earth is to be believed, Nessie has been sighted more often. A man named Jason is said to have discovered a sea creature somewhere in Scottish waters. However, some people claim that this was a boat. But this was not the only time the legendary sea monster was discovered on Google Earth. 
A woman named Lisa was taking a look near Fort Augustus in Scotland when she saw Nessie. Surely, in my opinion, this is one of the most credible sightings I've ever seen. Do you believe the Loch Ness Monster exists? Let me know in the comments. The next photo of a giant figure was taken in the South African city, Soweto. According to the article, a while ago there were allegedly a multitude of reports of strange clouds. In the cities of Limpopo and Pualanga and KwaZulu-Natal, Although some believe they are just clouds, other locals say that due to the bad weather, giant creatures sometimes show themselves. One local resident was on his way to work when he pulled out his phone that fateful day to take a picture of the clouds. To his own disbelief, one of the clouds turned out to not only have a human form, but was walking. It appeared only for a few moments before it faded and disappeared into thin air. According to the photographer, the moment felt surreal, like he was dreaming. Dreaming or not, it was frightening to witness, and he could only take one photo as proof. Afterwards, the man was left with the sinister feeling that the world was about to end. You've probably never heard of the Megamouth Sharks. This is because they are very rare, and they don't often show themselves. The sharks have an unusual rounded snout that gives them distinctly non-shark-like appearance. The species, which can live up to 100 years, was discovered in 1974 by a U.S. Navy research vehicle in Hawaiian waters. Since then, there have only been around 269 confirmed sightings. Most recently, in June 2022, another one washed up ashore in the Philippines. And another incident a few years ago, also in the Philippines, but in Pio Duran, Al Bay. This was a giant male, 15 feet or 4.6 meters long. In October of 2017, a creepy video of an alien sea monster lying sprout on the beach circulated on the internet. People began to speculate what it could be, but no one had any idea. Its appearance looked strange, with a claw-like head and four arms that looked like tentacles. But that wasn't all. Behind it, a long line could be seen. Not clear whether it was the creature's path or whether it's part of the mysterious body. In case you're curious where in the world this creature was washed up, it was on the beach of Julian Dorp in the Netherlands. Unfortunately, there are not more pictures, so we can't see the monster more clearly. We can only guess that what kind of sea monster this could have been. We know that lobsters, including the Japanese giant crab, can reach considerable sizes. But in this video, we see some people who saw a giant crab on the beach and pulled it out of the water. This was reportedly filmed on the coast of the town of Muanabo in Puerto Rico. The lobster was reportedly found by a fisherman from a restaurant during their search for fresh seafood. According to some people, this could be the largest lobster ever found. It reportedly took a combined effort of several men to drag the animal out of the water as well. When something like a treasure shark washes up on the beach, you have to wonder where exactly they live in the ocean. Although they sometimes swim close to the surface of the water, they are rarely seen that close to the beaches. In fact, they are so rare that this find was considered lucky and information gathered about this mysterious creature. This shark with eyes the size of dinner plates found its way to New Zealand beach. And yes, the shark's tail not only looks dangerous, but is also used to stun prey underwater. Have you ever heard of the Menangle? It's a Filipino aswang, which can be translated as an evil spirit. A manananggle is described as a cruel, terrifying, and vampire-like creature from which nightmares descend. A manananggle is known to trap people and lead them to their doom. But that is not the most gruesome part. Manananggles also have the ability to detach their torso from their lower half and then fly, dragging their entrails behind them. A manananggle can also be an evil sorceress who visits small villages. Now, with all that said, what could be flying in the sky in these images? It's no wonder people panicked when they saw it. According to them, this ominous dark figure would have flown over people's houses several times. Do you believe in the Kraken? Sightings of this sea monster also go way back. Some scientists believe that the Kraken must have been a colossal squid. Because of the following photo discovered on Google Earth, some people believe that the Kraken still exists. An unknown person found the sea monster by accident and immediately posted his discovery on Reddit. People were shocked when they saw the photo and several theories immediately began to emerge. A few believe that it is indeed the Kraken or a colossal squid, but others thought it was just a rock and that we are just imagining a face. 
When people first saw this video pop up on the internet, they thought a giant octopus had washed up on the beach. However, its identity was quickly revealed. In fact, this octopus was part of a publicity stunt by Netflix to advertise the fourth season of the popular series Stranger Things. But imagine if you didn't know that and you see this creature lying on the beach. Pretty creepy. After a tsunami in Japan, two people discovered that the ocean had washed up something strange on the beach. When this unexplained ball was encountered, people quickly got chills down their spines. Even when the creature was gently touched, it did not respond. Believe it or not, but according to experts, this creature was thought to have come from a sea sponge. The theory claims that the sea sponge was ripped off a reef and washed up on the beach. Sea sponges are common in Japan and can reach gigantic sizes, and they also have fascinating geometric patterns. Have you ever heard of the Ningen, a sea monster said to inhabit the Antarctic Oceans? The sea monster is popular in Japanese culture, and it literally means human in Japanese. According to the legend, the creature could grow to be 20 to 30 meters long, and they are usually spotted by Japanese whale research ships. If the following photo from Google Earth is to be believed, here we see the legendary sea monster, the Ningen. It looks pretty creepy, but other people believe it's just a large piece of ice. When the following photo of a giant crab went viral, people living near the Kent coast in England were very shocked. Many people immediately debated whether this was a real crab or if it had been photoshopped. However, a scientist who studied the photo says that crabs can never grow that big. But as we were doing our research, we found another photo of giant crabs. This photo was discovered via Google Earth in the waters of the city of Visakhapatnam in India. And according to a researcher, this group of crabs is an incredible 27 meters long. In case you are not familiar with Mothman, it is a legend that originated in the United States in the town of Point Pleasant. One day in the late 1960s, residents froze in horror when they saw the Mothman, a dark giant figure hovering above their heads. It seemed the creature was an omen when later a bridge collapsed, killing 46 people. Since then, many people have become afraid of the creature, and several people claim to have observed the Mothman over the years. According to them, the figure is said to have a wingspan of more than 10 feet, or 3 meters. Eyewitnesses say the Mothman is capable of flying at lightning speed, estimated to be as fast as 100 miles per hour, or 160 kilometers per hour. But recently, the Mothman was reportedly sighted in Beijing, China. Some tourists saw a giant winged figure that they managed to capture on camera. Could the legend about the Mothman be true after all? The Trunco Globster is the name of an unidentified organic mass that washed up on the shoreline in Margate, South Africa in 1924. Its story is wild from start to finish. Trunco was reportedly seen fighting with two orcas. The man who saw him thought it was a polar bear at first. He also saw him come out of the water and attack the orcas with his tail. Three hours later, the orcas left and Trunco drifted towards the beach. According to eyewitnesses, the creature would have been as much as 46 feet tall, 46 feet or 14 meters long. Its one meter long trunk gave its nickname, Trunko. Ten days later, however, a tidal wave washed him back into the ocean. In theory, we know that sperm whales can reach 60 feet or 18 meters in length. Unfortunately, they occasionally wash up on beaches in the town of Skegness in England. Not one, but three sperm whales were found. However, there's also an example of a 62 feet or 19 meter long whale that washed ashore in eastern China. This one was still alive, and thanks to the 20 hour efforts of local firefighters, the sperm whale was pushed back into the water. Near Takaka and Golden Bay, three whales have washed ashore before. Dozens of people came to the beach to view the majestic animals. Do you believe such giant creatures could exist? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.